recording. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Trisha. This is my YouTube channel, Thrill Threads, where I talk about crafty things. And today I'm talking about getting up super early. My eyes. It is. I don't even know what time it is. I can't. I can't. My thing is not working. Oh, there we go. 4.26 a.m. My husband just left. My eyes are tired. I did end up staying up till 9.30 last night. Which was a very full day. And I wonder... I feel like I slept really good. I wonder what my Fitbit will say about my sleeping. I can also say that my son Axel got up at three o'clock in the morning and was like, um, excuse me, can I get up now? No. So set him back to bed. Hopefully he stays there. So I'm going to do some breathing and a quick in to visit. I'm going to do some deep breathing because that wakes me up. I'm going to do some stretching in bed and then I'm going to start my day and see, I don't know, see what kind of trouble I can get into. Look, this is going to be a problem. She's going to hold me down. Pixie. Yeah. Here. Let's see hi. This is her cuddle time. It's not good. And then I'm not going to want to get up. This is what happens. Oh no. It's starting. Oh Lord, this is gonna be an issue.
Hello, welcome back. It is um, the eighth day of Flossmas. My eyes are so red. Oh my gosh. So, December 8th, eighth day of Flossmas. Here I am. It is almost 8 30 at night. I'm super tired again because this is how my life is now. First, let me take a drink. Does anybody else drink out of mason jars? They're like my most favorite thing now. Um, This is a jelly jar. So when Leaf and I got married, we didn't have like a set of glasses between us. Um, I had very little. Oh, my eye hurts. Um, and he had very little. And so we combined what we had. And none of it matches. And I just started using mason jars. He thinks it's weird. I think it's brilliant. I mean, why buy stemware if you don't have to, right? Okay, so today was, um, it was good. You know, most of the little vlogging stuff that I did, I did most of it in the morning um, before my kids got up because yes, I got up again, you saw, at 4.30 and I mean, I'm tired right now, don't get me wrong, but just having that extra time in the morning, I think I said this yesterday, is, is just amazing. Like, I am in such a good mood. It's like that workout high, I think, without the, like, sweating and exerting yourself and, and working out. That's what I'm going to say. So, I plan on doing it again tomorrow. Uh, and I'm finding, like last night, I stayed up later than I normally do, and um, so other than what you saw, it was a full work day. I actually worked until 6 p.m. Um, that was exhausting, <laughs> but it was all good stuff, and then Leaf came home from work. He came home while I was still working and fed the kids, which was great. And then when the kids went to bed, he and I sat down and we have started watching Lord of the Rings. So Leaf has seen it several times. I think that I've probably watched it before, but didn't ever really care. So I'm making an invested effort <laughs> in trying and, and it's okay. I finally... Um, figured out what the meme is where the guy is like, one does not simply do blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that is from Lord of the Rings. I didn't know. I didn't know. It's fine. So one of the things that I did this morning is I pulled, well, I cut my fabric and pulled my flosses for, oh, that would have looked really cute. There we go. And pulled my flosses for the Brenda Gervais uh, Mary and Minty stitch along. I haven't started it yet, but I pulled all my flosses and I put my DMC on these amazing little uh, floss rings from Delicious Threads, which does remind me we have a giveaway. So I was really, I was planning on starting this during the day and I just didn't get to it. So maybe, maybe I'll make it my bed project. Remember when I used to talk about always having a bed project? I haven't had a bed project in a super long time. So maybe I'll get started. My nose itches. I apologize. Speaking of the thread drops, look what I have here. I have thread drops and Grandma Sew B. 
you are the winner. I've already commented on your comment. So if you see this before you see my comment on your comment, send me an email, uh, three, um, three all threads at gmail.com. It's also down in the description with your postal address and I will send your package out soon, right away. Another thing that I keep forgetting to bring up is the Celeste um, box that I got from Fangirl Fiber Co. I think it was. And it was all wrapped and I was like, oh my God, I am supposed to open this on Christmas Eve because it's a Christmas Eve cast on. I don't think that was the actual rule. I don't think you had to wait, but I'm gonna. It's under my tree, in the back, it's fine. The overwhelming response was that I should wait. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. And with that, let's get going on the advent calendar. So first one, uh, Christmas at Hogwarts Year 4 Advent Calendar by Yarn Cafe Creations on Etsy. Linked below. Today is number 8. So that means it's a Yarn Cafe Creations yarn. I'm going to say this. So Dragon Horde Fibers was supposed to release their Advent pattern on the 7th, which was yesterday. I can't find that pattern anywhere. Not on their Ravelry site. Not on their website. I'm starting to think I'm just stupid I don't know where it's at. I'm sure it's going to be worth the wait. So here we have Quidditch World Cup. This is wild. Very nice. Those are some pretty colors. I like it. I like it. All right, number eight for Spectacular Yarns, Advent Calendar 2020. That's what I have to do to remember to throw things away. This is pretty, what is that, like a blue gray? Oh, nice. Very nice. I dig it. Oh, it's going to look great with that blanket that I think I'm going to make. Oh, those are beautiful. Ooh, I need to knit something. Okay, throw those over there. And then my Stitch Supply Co. 2020 Advent Calendar, day number eight. Oh, all right. So here are some milliner's needles. I guess I can put this down. Because I can't, I don't have my glap. Old lady. Ooh, they're filthy. Anyway, milliner's finest quality needles. 16 needles, size 11. Are they beading needles? I don't know. But I got these needles. Oh, and this is probably a needle thing. You know, a needle case. Yeah, needle case. Ooh. It's metal. And it's like I can carry needles on my key ring. I don't know why I would do that, but I can. I think that's it. That's all that I have. So thanks for being here. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. It's okay though. Grandma So B, make sure you email me um, and I will see you all tomorrow for another Flossmas. Bye.